Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, I already know it's been a hot little second since I last uploaded. Been a lot of stuff going on. I've been busy. I'm about to do a little project, so I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and just film this. This is gonna basically be a double review. So, uh, I ended up getting a new TV, and me personally, I don't like entertainment systems as much. I like to just mount my TVs. So, of course, with that, I ended up having to get a mount, all right? Uh, I'm not really the most skilled person when it comes down to stuff like this. So I decided to get a no stud required mount. All right. I know a lot of you probably going to be like, man, that's kind of risky. You know, uh, it may not be as secure, but I'm going to give it a shot. And plus, I got the receipt on this TV. So if it does end up falling and breaking, we do have the extended warranty. So I can just go get another one. So boom, you know, we already got that handle. I thought this out. All right. I'm going to show you guys the TV too. Uh, but that's why I said it's going to be a double review. So I'm going to review the mount and of course i'm gonna tell you guys how easy or complicated it was to install and mount my actual tv up on and i'm gonna do a review on my tv for one i've never actually had a tv this big it is an lg uh 55 inch flat screen so you know i just i just decided i'd go ahead and show you guys that and just do a little double review so you know so right now i'm about to show you guys the tv and uh the box is huge and I have to take it out and I have to lay it on my bed, you know what I'm saying, do all of that stuff. And after you guys see the TV, I'm gonna go ahead and start trying to install this mountain stuff, all of that. And then I'm gonna try to record, you know, as I go, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna see how that works. Uh, but, you know, I might end up editing out of this video. So, hey, who knows? But anyways, here goes the TV. So here we go. My TV actually at home was an LG TV. Uh, it was 42 inch, so I guess that's why my granddad ended up getting this one. I told him the TCL TV, he ended up getting this one. But anyways, it's the LG UHD TV. Uh, I think it's the newest one, I guess. I'm not sure. I really haven't been keeping up with that many TVs. I basically just wanted a smart TV and I told him and here we go. Uh, here are the stats, I guess. Real 4K quad core processor, ThinQ, Cinema Experience Unlimited Entertainment. I'll show you guys the other side of the box. Boom. And as you can see, it is a smart TV. You got Netflix, Disney Plus, all of that stuff. So I'm about to crack this joker open and I have to sit it on the bed uh, to install like the little bracket or whatever. The stuff in the background is, of course, the mount and stuff like that. So here we go. Let's to see how wide this TV is. Well, in the box anyways. It's as wide as my bed. All right. Now we're about to get into it. All right. So here it is laid out on the bed. In case you want to know what was in the actual box, you got, um, you know, the styrofoam protecting uh, the top, well, the bottom part. Uh, and then you have one protecting the top. And it came with the two legs and power cords that's right there. So, uh, all right, so this is an up close look at the uh, mount box. So this is a 55 inch TV, so uh, this is perfect. Um, it holds up to 80 pounds. Now this TV isn't 80 pounds, so we should be fine. And those are the directions on the back. It's literally comes with all of this right here. That's basically what it comes with. Now, I actually don't know what this is, but you know, when I read the directions, I'm pretty sure I'll find out. But as you can see, the only tools required, it says, is a hammer and a Phillips screwdriver. So uh, these are the nails right here and all the other stuff. So the first direction actually is to put one, put this, I'm assuming, on that part, and then we'll go back and, I don't know, you know, we'll, I'll figure it out and I'll let you guys know. All right, so after reading all of the directions, basically what we're doing is, we're gonna take these screws right here, we're gonna get the ones that work best, and we're gonna put them in these two holes, right? And then we're gonna take this, and if you look very closely, those are little small holes, that's where the nails go into the wall. And this part has like a little rivet, on, like a little groove, and it just hooks into this. So that's basically how this works. So I got to go through all of these and find the perfect length. That's why they just give you a bunch of different ones. And it has a level on there. So uh, basically, you just have to find the right ones and see which ones work best with the TV. And you just sit it up there. So I'm about to try to find the right screws for these and then, you know, just start nailing and there we go. But one thing I wanted to show you guys that's very nifty, as you can see, um, it has like the little level meter or whatever. You can slide it in and it just slides along the bottom reel. All right, and I also wanted you guys to know that each one of these screws hold 10 pounds. All right, uh, now I'm pretty sure there's more than eight that go in here. 
I'm honestly not gonna lie to y'all. I'm just gonna use every single last one of these nails because I'd rather be safe than sorry. All right, so this is the last little step and it has uh, like a little star, like a foam backing or whatever, so it doesn't damage the wall. So whenever you do wanna, you know, take this down, you'll only have to worry about the nail holes, of course. But this is the last step and then you guys get to see what it's gonna look like from my perspective. All right, so here's the wall before the TV. All right, guys, so here we go. We got the TV mounted. Now, I'm not going to lie. I actually did this by myself. Now, it's not impossible to do it alone, but it is kind of stressful simply because whenever you have to check to see if the TV is in its, you know, in the slot, you have to let go and you have to shine a flashlight behind it. So, uh, you know, I kind of was hitting and missing it for like 15 minutes straight. My nails actually weren't flush in the wall. So like the bracket kept catching on the nails. So, uh, you know, it was a lot of hitting and missing. Uh, anyways, I ended up getting it. And as you can see, I got it. Uh, I actually eyeballed it. Now, the one thing about this mount, you got to eyeball it. Or if you just know exactly where you want to put it at, you know what I'm saying? Go for it. But once it is up on that wall, that is it. It is up there. Now, I mean, you can take the nails out and move it up and down, but there's more holes you're gonna end up putting into the wall. So I do not recommend that whatsoever. But installation wise, it was super easy. It didn't take me that long. It actually took me more time to mount the actual TV than to, you know what I'm saying, put it all together. All right, but I got it up. So the reason why I'm in a different shirt is because my phone ran out of storage. So I had to stop filming. And now this is like a couple days later when uh, you know I'm off. So I'm actually very happy and very satisfied with the way it turned out and it looks. And one thing that I do love about this mount, it automatically has the like tilted down effect, all right? It, uh, the bottom, if you wanna put cords and stuff in it, you know, plug up your Xbox or, you know what I'm saying, an internet, whatever you're trying to do, all you have to do is simply grab the bottom and pull it out and you can access all of the cables. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? It has that tilted effect that is very convenient for things like that. And I just love the way it looks. I actually was about to buy a mount where it would have the tilt effect, but you know what I'm saying? Since I spent $5 less and I already got the tilt effect that I wanted, I'm, I'm satisfied with that, so. And I did tell you guys this will be a double review. So uh, with the mount, I give it, you know what I'm saying, four stars simply because uh, you have to eyeball it. So that is the one downside to it. But other than that, it is super easy to install. Um, I grabbed on it, yanked on it and all of that. It feels very durable. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're not really as, you know what I'm saying, hardware savvy, I guess, and you want to put up a TV mount and you don't know about studs and you don't have like the, the stud finder or you don't know how to find the stud without having a stud finder, this is definitely the mount to go to. Uh, it's, it's just super easy. I mean, like the directions is literally like three steps. It is so easy uh, to do. So I highly recommend this if you just don't know anything about mounting up a TV. This is definitely the one. Now, again, this does hold up to a 55 inch. So if you have a, a bigger TV than a 55 inch, then you will have to go and get another mount. Also, if your TV is over 80 pounds, this will not uh, be the mount for you. But I mean, most TVs are not... 80 pounds, especially now with, with technology, you're not really gonna have that over 80 pound issue. So I'm pretty sure all 55 inch TVs on the market right now can, can go on this mount. But on to show you guys the TV and honestly a cool feature that I saw, like it is a dope feature, all right? Uh, but um, it's, it's some things that I can't actually show you just because of how I set up my TV. So basically when you actually turn on the TV, it is to help the visually impaired so the TV actually talks to you. So anytime you click on something, it will straight up just say what you're hovering over. And you'll see what I mean by hovering over in just a second. Now this is the remote that we have, all right? Now, as you can see the middle button, you can still use it as okay, but it's like a mouse scroll. So I'm gonna turn the TV on so you guys can see this part. Now this is the most dope part. It is a wand. All right, it's like a built-in wand when it comes into the remote. So you can straight up go like, yes, no. I on, right now, I don't have internet set up, so uh, it's gonna pop this up. I usually connect it to my hotspot, so. So other features when it come down to the remote, as you can see, it's a voice command. So you can hold that and then, you know what I'm saying, you can do that. Uh, you know, you got the Netflix button. I still don't fully know how to operate the TV just yet, but as you can see, these are all of the little things. You got Netflix, Prime Video, Disney Plus, Hulu, Sling, YouTube. Whoops, I actually meant to click on YouTube. I actually don't know how to pull it up. Like I just haven't, you can actually change the channel with the scroll. 
Like it is super, it is just, I don't know. It's just so different. And I, I really do like that. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to click the home button. You click the home button. You got all of these other things right here. And we pull YouTube up. And of course I was watching young boys. So, you know what I'm saying? I usually hook up my TV uh, to my personal hotspot, but now that I'm filming, I can't do that right now. But the picture is crystal clear. It is, I mean, it'll show you how much you actually can't see. So, you know, I really love the quality. Um, I just like LG. My last TV was an LG. So, you know what I'm saying? I really, uh, I'm kind of biased, but I'm not biased at the same time. The wand is super dope. So I honestly give this TV a 10 out of 10 because I mean, hey, I, you, there's no way you can get this TV and just not like it. All right. And also you can connect this up with Apple Home. So whenever I'm at home, I actually don't have to use the remote. I can just turn it on uh, with my with my phone. There are a lot of features that I have yet to actually just figure out. Like I still don't know how to fully just work this TV and know it in and out. So uh, this is just like my first, I guess, unboxing review, as you can say. Uh, I just haven't had time to just dig into it. Uh, I'm off, so I will actually dig into it today a little bit more or especially tomorrow because I will be having Internet installed. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? But that's it for today's video. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoy. Sorry for such a long time to upload. I will be uploading more videos. Drop a like. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. And I will see you guys in the next video. I'm out. So if you actually watch the entire video, this is just a bonus clip that I usually add in in uh, some of my videos. Uh, but if you don't have internet like me just yet, LG actually provides you with their own channels. That is like they're programmed already into the TV, which is that's wild to me. And you can just scroll through like they have a bunch of channels that you can just straight up watch without internet. So. That's a, that's a big up, so I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen that before. This is my first time ever seeing the TV just have channels already into it. You got like College Humor. You got like a food channel that I was looking on there. Um, I haven't really just looked through all of these, but as you can see, I'm still scrolling. There are a lot of channels that LG provides you. So, you know, uh, you got a TMZ channel, that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. I'm out.